So, fastest, the fastest freedom spec ESC settings. Let's see. All right, they're, they're too fast. Let's try one more time. What is that? This is it? Damn, it's still too blurry. I can't see, they're still too fast. I think, I think I gotta connect with my ESC settings expert. What is this? I see you have requested the great knowledge of the grand master ESC wizard. Well, this is a knowledge, the knowledge of the settings of the ESCs, which you may not know, which no one will know, because it's a grand mystery, a mystery for all to ponder to the end of days. Please, at least tell me which PWM is the fastest. Without further ado, let's get into the list of settings I found the best for Freedom Spec type of drones. If you are on BLHeli 32.7 and you don't want to update it for whatever reason, then ramp up power 60%, no more, sign modulation, leave it off, DMAC compensation, leave it low, motor timing, bring it up to 31 and PWM make it 48 kHz. If you happen to be on BL Heli 32.8, which is probably the most popular BL Heli 32 firmware, my only recommendation, you have to update it to 32.83, or at least downgrade it to 32.7, if 32.7 is available for your ESC. If you want to know the reason, there is a link to my previous video in the description explaining why 32.8 might not be very good. Finally, if you are brave enough and you flashed BLHeli 32.83 or if there is already an official BLHeli 32.9 or 32.83 official release, then here are your settings. Ramp up power, you can bring it all the way to 150%. Side modulation, still leave it off. Dimmer compensation, you can make it off in this version. Motor timing, 31, PWM low, 16 kHz, PWM high, by RPM. Link on this little document, you know where in the description. And finally, let's get into the nerd stuff. I promised myself maximum 12 minutes. Let's see how that goes. First, a big disclaimer, a big one. I did not test all the ESCs out there. In fact, I only tested a couple of Reaper ESCs. It means that for your particular ESCs, these settings might not be good, but I think there is a big chance they will be close. Also, some ESCs are noticeably slower than the others. For example, I had this um, Pyroflip ESC, which works perfectly for 6S, but 3S, for whatever unknown reason, is just way slower on this ESC. And it's not like one motor is slower, it's like all of the motors are consistently 5% slower on 3S. Maybe it's just a bad ESC, maybe this is the type of a FAS they're using, I don't know. So you have to be watching for that too. And second, still a pretty big disclaimer. Second disclaimer, these ESC settings are only for Freedom Spec, only. Do not try to run it on 6S. Freedom Spec is Heads up, 2207-1960KV motors, R38, heads up, HQ props, and only a 3S battery, not a 6S battery, only a 3S battery. Hold on, so this is the nerd section of the video, so I probably shouldn't be explaining that. Anyway. If you want to see the Freedom Spec batteries comparison, the link is down there, and even more batteries are coming. You probably noticed that I recommended slightly different ESC settings for different ESC firmware versions. And this is the part I spend the most amount of time on. As you remember, I have a drone strapped to the table with all PIDs zero. 
anti-gravity off, error mode off, RC smoothing off, and throttle on the switch. Every experiment is three throttle punches, two seconds long each. Before each of the experiments, the battery was charged to 3.8 volts per cell flat. This is how a single experiment looks in real life. And this is how such experiment looks on the plot. The top plot is the RPM, how fast motor is spinning. And you can see it goes up three times for approximately two seconds and then goes down. And the bottom plot is the voltage. Then I change ESC settings and repeat experiment. And now we have two plots. And they're not synchronized, so it's pretty hard to compare them like that. So my little ugly Python script can solve that problem for us. Just set it to true and rerun. And here we go. Now we can zoom it in and really compare things. This is just an example of two experiments. One with timing motor timing 10 and the other one is motor timing 31. And motor timing 31 here is about 1.5% faster in the maximum RPM. But how we can actually know that we can measure with this tiny little precision? Because maybe our method is just not good enough. And this is where things get really interesting. So I started with BLHeli 32.7 and uh, from the commonly known Freedomspec ESC settings, which are ramp up power 150, DMAG off, motor timing 31. And I repeated the same experiment with the same ESC settings about like 10 times in a row. And damn, the results were pretty bad. The difference between here and here turned to be more than 2% and that made me very very sad. So I started manually checking all the black box recordings, like every motor individually and eventually I found the problem. So apparently, look at that, 32.7. Here all motors starting approximately at the same time, but look at that. Two motors starting a little bit later. Now look at that. Again, they starting at the same time. Let's go to the next log. Hmm? One motor starting way later. This is like 10 milliseconds difference approximately. Let's see. And this is 20 millisecond difference. Yeah, this is crazy. And this is not just red motor because I noticed that sometimes it's totally different motors. This is sort of a desync and after about two hours of more testing, I, I actually don't remember how many hours, but after some hours of more testing, I was able to identify wh what is the problem. And the problem is PLHeli 32.7 DMAG off or high ramp up power. So if you're running DMAG low and ramp up power 60 maximum, then there is no problem at all. So that's why BLHeli 32.7 DMAG low and ramp up power 60 maximum, probably even 50. There's no big difference between 50 and 60. And now magically look at the new error, 0.5%. Well, this is still not zero, but this is way better than 2%. Now we can work with that. The cool part is 32.83 does not have this problem. And that's why on 32.83 you can move your ramp up power all the way to 150 for freedom spec. And also you can turn DMAC off. And they have it actually in the release notes for 32.83, not for 32.8, 32.83. As I mentioned in my previous video, I noticed that 32.83 reports a little bit lower RPM readings than 32.7. One of the BLHeli developers confirmed for me that this is not the actual difference, this is the difference in the precision of the readings, so we should be good. But to make absolutely sure, I also reached to Mr. Chris Rosser, because he has a fancy thrust stand and he tested different BLHeli versions. And he confirmed for me that 32.7 with, with the same settings spins motors with the same speed as 32.83. So guys, we're good here.
Thank you Chris Rosser and your fancy thrust stand. Link for Chris Rosser's channel is down there too. It is probably too many links down there already. Alright, 3 minutes left. Let's go through the rest of the tests really quick. So, fix PWM, different values comparison. The blue plot, the most slowest plot is PWM 16 kilohertz. The difference between 16 kilohertz and 48 kilohertz is about 1%. So 48 kilohertz is 1% faster. After about 36 kilohertz, the difference is, is so tiny that we cannot measure it anymore. Here it is also pretty interesting to compare how fast the motor slows down depending on PWM value. Let's zoom here. And it's pretty obvious that with PWM 16 kilohertz, the motor slows down the fastest. And this is good. And this could be a benefit of running variable PWM, which is unfortunately not available for 32.7, but it is available for 32.83. Now comparing the motor timing. And of course, the higher the timing, the faster the motor is spinning. And the difference between timing 1 and 31 is almost 3% actually. But the difference between timing 16 which is default and timing 31 is approximately where is that here is approximately 1.5 percent interesting that even at zero throttle the higher the timing the faster the motor is spinning which is could be good or bad i don't know probably doesn't matter now comparing pwm high 48 versus pwm high by rpm and if you zoom the maximum RPM, you can see that by RPM could be, could be a little bit faster, but the difference is so tiny, it's like 0.2%, so it doesn't make a lot of difference, but if it costs nothing, why not? Pretty interesting to compare how the low PWM value affects how fast motor slows down. And this matches with Chris Rosser's testing that lower PWM slows down the motor faster. Sign modulation mode, on versus off. And you can see that sign modulation on is about 0.7% slower, so leave it, just leave it off. A ramp up power is a little bit controversial because it looks like the lower ramp up power gives a little bit higher maximum RPM. I did not find any good explanations for that, but on the other side, higher ramp up power, look at that. Let's zoom in here. And you can see that higher ramp up power is way ahead of lower ramp up power at gaining the maximum RPM. And the difference is about 2 milliseconds, which is, which is 2 milliseconds. After some real life testing of all these settings on the track, I didn't feel any difference, which means if you just go practice, you will get way faster than if you just change your ESC settings. But also to be honest, even before all these testings, I was already running settings that are pretty close to these ones, so maybe that's why I didn't feel anything. But let's let's go check what other pilots are thinking. All right, Mr. Johnny Five famous YouTube star with 7,000 subscribers and today he tried the secret ESC settings for Freedom Spec. What do you think about them? It was instantly a huge difference and I notice a lot of times while I'm racing against Joe Mama and you guys, I feel like when we're right next to each other, you're taking off on me and leaving me. And so like, okay, yeah, the line's better, but even in a straight line, you were always beating me and I couldn't understand why my quad is so slow. Even we got the same motors, the same props. But as soon as I put these settings on it, I could instantly feel like 5-10% faster. But you told me that was bullshit. So yeah, well, know. it cannot be 5-10. It should be like maximum 2% faster. 2%. But also you was flying complete default settings. So, uh, yeah. yeah, so maybe more. Yeah. So what you're saying is that, is that I, I'm actually not good. It's just my quad was faster. Your quad was faster. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Check out this cool open racer canopy. Okay, see you in the next video, maybe, if I'm not lazy.